Okay, let's look at continuity now. We have the same picture now, I've drawn it a little bigger. This is P here, and we want to understand continuity. Okay, so recall how we defined F, F tilde. So we already had F and we had P. We defined F tilde by sending Z to taking a path alpha, looking at FO alpha, and looking at FO alpha tilde. And we here we really have to use local path connectivity. Otherwise, we'll see that this is false. Okay, so let's look at Y and what do we need to prove to prove continuity? We'll take a neighborhood of Y. Okay, Y is, uh, uh, this Y is actually just F tilde of the point Z. Okay, we'll take a neighborhood of Y and I want a neighborhood of Z that lands up in that neighborhood of Y. Okay, so that's the key point here that we want to show. Okay, so first of all, X has an evenly covered neighborhood. So let's give that guy a name. So let W. Let W, this is contained in Y, be open. And Y, which is F tilde of Z, is a point in W. So X has an evenly covered neighborhood. U. So this has an evenly covered neighborhood U. Uh, it's uh, time to use a different color. Let's use a nice cyan like color for evenly covered neighborhood U. And its inverse image is going to be something like this and guys here. Okay. So what this tells you is that with Y belongs to some component V contained in P inverse of U and P restricted to V uh, from V to U homeomorphism. Okay, so now this is a point which contains V so without loss of generality we can say W is contained in this evenly covered neighborhood. W is contained in uh, the evenly covered neighborhood V, I mean the image of the evenly covered neighborhood V. So that means I'll change my picture a little bit. Oh. Okay, so we'll have to erase this W looking like this. Instead we have a slightly nicer picture. Okay, so that in, so we have a path here, oops. We have a path here. This ends in Y, which is F tilde of Z. We have an evenly covered neighborhood. Okay, and that is V. This is U. Okay, inside that evenly covered neighborhood, we have a teeny weeny neighborhood, which is W. Okay, and this is a homeomorphism. So, so here, we end up with a neighborhood which is going to be called, uh, well, it's just P of W. Okay, but this is open. Okay, so P of W, this is contained in U, is open. Not V, but U is open. So nice. Now we know F is continuous. That means I can find a neighborhood. I'm running out of letters here. We have used U, V, we have used W. So let's uh, call this Omega or something. So, so as F is continuous, there exists Omega uh, contained in Z open with little z in Omega such that uh, F of Omega is contained in this set uh, which we wanted, which was the target P of W. Okay, by LPC, can assume omega is path connected. I'm saving myself having to invent another name. All I want to say is that I can find a smaller neighborhood containing Z inside omega, which is also path connected. 
okay so now what happens now let's pick a point z prime here okay so let z prime belong to omega okay then there exists alpha prime contained in omega or let me be precise and say 0 1 mapped to omega with alpha prime of 0 is z and alpha prime of 1 is z prime so I can find a little path I should use a different color because it's all small to bring it out which connects these two which is contained completely here okay and remember this was our old path alpha which we used in the definition so its image well it may be squiggly but is contained here and we can lift this by using a local homeomorphism so that that image ends up here okay so then what what we do is remember we have proved well defined so what we can see is then alpha star alpha prime is a path from z0 to z prime so f tilde of z prime because of well defined i can take any path this is alpha star alpha prime with f applied to it tilde of 1 okay but now let's figure out what this guy is okay so if i look at f composed with alpha well this is f composed with alpha star f composed with alpha prime tilde oops the whole thing tilde that is it's the lift of this well you can see that this is f composed with alpha tilde that's always the case star so what we do is we look at the lift of this star the lift of this per f composed with alpha prime starting where this ends but that we know by construction we can take p restricted to the evenly covered neighborhood v inverse composed with f composed with alpha prime okay so we just compose this so this applied to one is this applied to one which is just p restricted to v inverse at f composed with alpha prime of 1 okay but f composed with alpha prime of 1 remember by construction this was a path inside this small neighborhood so this guy belongs to p of w so this thing is actually in w so what was the conclusion well the idea is really simple because of local path connected for a nearby point we can take the original path plus a little path and little means it's actually maps into an evenly covered neighborhood and from that evenly covered neighborhood we can simply use the local homeomorphism to invert and so we have full control over the endpoint in particular we can ensure the endpoint is arbitrarily close to z so this is the idea of the continuity so we have map lifting which is a clean statement which gives a complete answer to the covering problem and we have now proved the continuity as well of this uh, hypothesis we will later see that this is actually necessary the local path connectivity is actually necessary for this